I am honored to have been mentioned by CoffeeZilla in his Lex Friedman podcast. This is a little bit old, but I'm just reposting it right now because to be honest, my laptop is currently being fixed. So I'm just finding random videos that I've been featured in, I guess, and reposting them. So sorry about that. And I'll post more of my own original content when I get my laptop back. Why do you think there are so few journalists like you? You're, you're basically the embodiment, at least in the space you operate, of what great journalism should be. Why do you think there's very few like you? That's such an enormous compliment and probably overstatement. I first want to pay respect. There are a lot of great journalists and a lot of them are like, I don't want to just kind of take it and go, yeah, you know, it's just me. There's so many great journalists, M Matt Levine, Kelsey Piper, um, you know, you've got anonymous journalists like Dirty Bubble. You've got citizen journalists like Tiffany Fong. But, so who, uh, but, yeah. mm -hmm. but I think if you are going to be in this space in the long term, you do need to accept certain risks. And I think in the long term, it's like, I don't know how easy it is to play that game for a long period of time. Because you make, to do great journalism, you don't get paid a lot compared to what you could get paid if you did press pieces or anything like that. You take a lot of risks legally. You take physical risks. You take, it's just like, if you care about money, it's not the profession. And I feel like a lot of people, when they get notoriety, they move to like, well, I can just maximize the money security side of things. And I think it takes out a lot of would-be great journalists. Shout out to CoffeeZilla for mentioning me in his interview with Lex Friedman. Obviously, CoffeeZilla is a fucking legend, so I really appreciated that. And I did want to say that, yes, I am constantly worried about the legal implications of everything I'm doing. I've leaked a lot of sensitive information. I'm now in contact with one of the alleged biggest financial fraudsters of our generation. So if there are any lawyers out there that would like to give me some advice, please hit me up because, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. Also, CoffeeZilla is right. I've personally practically made no money doing any of this. I mean, I make a couple hundred bucks on YouTube every month and then I've turned down most sponsorships I received. And uh, yeah, I have a handful of paid subscribers on like Twitter and Substack, but otherwise, um, yeah, I haven't made too much money on this. So it's certainly not the profession for, uh, you know, if you want a lot of money. And uh, I appreciate him calling me a citizen journalist because um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but I've done some things that are somewhat journalistic. So thank you to CoffeeZilla for that shout out. And I'm only reposting this right now because my laptop is currently being fixed. So I can't edit a lot of my own videos. So right now I'm going through and trying to repost any random videos that I've been featured in or mentioned in. So sorry about that, but here you go. And again, thank you CoffeeZilla, you rule.